every time I have this thought, what, what the fuck I am doing here. There's a moment of thinking, I'm going to die. Mm. He's puking a lot. Wendy? Mm. You're good. It can be a little alarming. Your body is flailing and wiggling. It was actually a very beautiful, blissful, warm <coughs> feeling. You would feel like dying. It would be like dying. Combo itself uh, is quite animalistic, so it's very uh, like primal. It's probably going to be the best, worst experience of your life. That's going to be me next. I'm Anisha Krishnan, and this is Free Drugs. Recently, I've been hearing a lot about Combo, a drug that's become popular among so-called tech elites in Silicon Valley. Combo is a poisonous secretion released from an Amazonian monkey tree frog that people claim can treat an endless list of mental and physical ailments, though there's no scientific evidence backing that up. Some say it can even make you better at your job. Athletes have used it to improve stamina and endurance. Indigenous tribes have used combo for centuries to improve members' vision and strength for hunting. The process of tickling the frog enough for it to release the medicine is apparently harmless. But combo is not a psychedelic. It just makes you purge, potentially out both ends, for up to an hour. Your body and face <laughs> swell up, giving you the signature froggy face. It looks like a celebrity plastic surgeon went to town on your face. And it's totally legal in the U.S., but it's not regulated by the FDA. There have been a handful of reported combo-related deaths, mostly due to bad practice, such as drinking too much water. The potent energies released from the frog can kill those with weak hearts. At the same time, the energy released from combo can be beautiful. I wanted to see these potent energies for myself, so I met up with Steve Dumain, a combo practitioner who goes by Combo Steve. Through Combo International, an organization he co-founded, he's trying to bring Combo into the mainstream and is now serving around 900 clients. The group has also trained hundreds of practitioners in California, but Dumain himself started out skeptical of Combo. It was used by tribes for hunting and healing. What is it used for here in Silicon Valley? They're using it to improve their um, energy, their health. They're trying to trick their body into being stronger, faster, smarter. They believe that combo, it crosses the blood-brain barrier. Dumain is referring to the work of 16 different peptides in combo. Each peptide, or chain of amino acids, triggers a different reaction in the body, such as blood pressure fluctuations and vomiting. I think the tech industry is very interested in this idea of biohacking and how they can improve their endurance and do more in less time. Doing more capitalism. Exactly. Do people claim that combo helps them in their jobs? Absolutely. And people will come to me very often because they're trying to have more focus at work. It's allowed me to really step up as a leader at work. It's allowed me to perform better. I want to step into like more of the power side of myself as opposed to more submissive side. It helps with uh, just connection to people. In my work at this level, it's really important. I want to fully reset, let go of doesn't serve me no more, and propel in my career. Are we in a combo boom? I feel like we're in the early part of it. I think combo is very unknown, but it does feel like a boom because every time I get one client, they tell three people, and those three people tell three people. It feels viral. It feels like tech. It feels like it has that same growth idea. Tell me about some of the clients that you have in that world. I have some senior executives from a lot of um, big sort of Bay Area corporations or tech companies. I'm working as a software engineer in the, in the tech, so I'm working for Twitter. I also work in the tech space, financial, Web3, cryptocurrency space. I call myself an orthodox mompreneur. <laughs> I co-founded two companies. One of my main uh, interests as of recently has been uh, biofield tuning and energy work. Standing on nails, combo, plant medicine, software programming brings me lots of happiness. I came into the valley and as open-minded people are here, uh, the, direct, the direct opposition is the tech world, where it's like super bro, takes a lot out of 
painful because it's a continuation of I gotta be more, I gotta do more. I'm the nature, I'm the boss, I'm it all, just like all of us. What are some of the effects or yeah. benefits that people here are talking about after using Combo? I noticed I was, which sounds bizarre, I was speed reading. Combo helps me a lot with the PTSD. Combo has and other medicines have in fact helped me with my anger. It helps to speak up a lot. You start to notice that like you're more attracted to eating healthier food. I was also able to uh, do headstands and yoga for the first time. You notice that you start to sleep better because that chatter is kind of shut off in your mind. Is there medical or scientific data to back up any of these Sorry, things? None of this has medical or scientific data to back it up. We, we can talk about the peptides that we know are in there and what they can do as far as like removing bile. And the bile carries a lot of toxins from the liver. People only have their experiences to, to talk about. It's not approved by the FDA. So to make any claims around it is illegal and uh, we don't have the proof anyways. Tell me about the purge. I see crazy, crazy, crazy shit. One person literally threw up in my face like straight projectile vomit on my face. Sometimes the purge will come super fast and they didn't have their bucket there and they just <coughs> There was a person with severe digestive issues that kind of projectile pooped all around my bathroom walls. It's just making me wonder what's gonna happen to me tomorrow. It sounds like an exorcism. There are times it looks like an exorcism. I'm coming off of like a 10 day vacation. I basically consumed alcohol like every <laughs> single day. <laughs> Um, you might have a harder purge, but you might have a better cleanse. About uh, out of all ends. <laughs> I took Dumaine's advice and did the prep work, starting with eating an SF-approved meal. I also took some time to meditate and really focus on my intention. Then I took a not at all scientific fitness test running up a steep hill before combo to see if I would be any faster after doing it. So it took 29 seconds, um, actually faster than what I thought. I thought I was gonna have to walk some of it. Having said that, I am out of breath and tired and I really have to pee. So we'll see how I do on Friday after taking combo. <sighs> There's a moment of thinking, I'm gonna die. Um, what am I doing? That feeling of a purge coming is the scare, is like really awful. No one wants to purge. I need to purge imposter syndrome. Unhealthy relationships that I'm still holding on. I want to purge the sense where the world around me is a dangerous place. We'll start by having you drink water. We're gonna drink about a liter and a half of water. That water is gonna help you guys purge. The process begins with burning small dots on the skin where the combo is applied and then enters the lymphatic system. It's okay. Let it out. Try and relax. Within minutes of being applied, it kicks in. <laughs> then, after watching in anticipation, it was my turn. You want to do a shoulder? Can I do like, I don't know, like up here maybe? Yeah. He's puking a lot. Breathe. We're gonna we're gonna start. Okay. <clears throat> Try and breathe. I'm nervous. I know. What kind of replacement would you accept for being nervous? What do you mean? Think about something you could replace nervousness with. We're gonna find out what kind of puke noise I make. You feel ready? Yeah. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be nice, okay? Okay. It's gonna be nice. Take okay. a little breath. And let it out. Oh, ow! That's not nice. It's not nice. <laughs> and start to go into what it, what it is you want to work on. Okay. You're doing great. If you get dizzy, you just lay on your side, okay? Okay. 
or pass out face first into your bucket. Now you're in the medicine. Mm -hmm. Am I imagining it or is like, I feel like something in my head kind of. Yeah. Like it's like my head's like a, pounding. Like that is. Um, your blood pressure rising, vasodilation, the blood pumping through your brain, the blood pumping through your body. Is my face swelling? Is my ears, are my ears swelling? This is awful. I don't feel good at all. Try to try to stay up, okay? No. Hold on to your bucket. I'm so dizzy. I think I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> Two fingers in the back of your throat. Just to make it move. <laughs> Two fingers in the back of your throat, just to help it move a little bit. You want to go to the restroom? Yeah. Yeah? No, I can't. I can't. I can't move. Viva Combo. You're doing great. Get it out. I feel like a really strong abdominal pain right here. It was now time for Sananga, plant-based eye drops that have been used by indigenous tribes to clear up vision and treat ocular diseases. But they also make your eyeballs feel like they're on fire. I'm ready to, for you to burn my eyes out now. Start your breathing. Don't stop the breathing. The breathing is what's gonna make it easier and softer, as soft as it can be. Okay, can you do that? Keep breathing for me. I want you to flutter your eyes two times, all the way open. Breathe, 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 breathe. Close your eyes, close your eyes, don't open them. Breathe. Keep your eyes closed, stay soft. I totally get what people were saying earlier when they said they're, they feel like they're gonna die, like you wanna vomit, you see, you wanna get, get rid of that feeling and the discomfort and you feel like the only way to do it is by purging. But the obstacle course from hell didn't end there. Next, we did Hoppe, an Amazonian tobacco snuff that's blown up the nose to get you through any mental blocks. It feels like the way the Sananga felt, like we're burning your eyes out, but the Hoppe feels like we're burning the, your brain out. It's kind of like a, a lot living death. We're gonna do a light dose because I feel like that's where you're at right now. We don't have to blast you off. I think they call the, the connection with the spirit of Yeshiva. This one comes from the Awanawa tribe. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Take a little breath. Inhale. Lean forward. Fuck. <laughs> ow, ow. You can breathe. Okay. <laughs> you can breathe. Oh, can I just do one? <laughs> You'll feel unbalanced. Okay. You ready? Oh my God. <laughs> Let it, see. It hurts, it hurts. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> that really hurt. Okay, I hurt like a bitch. <laughs> okay. Kind of clear. Lean forward. That's enough. No more stuff today. <laughs> Nail. No, no nails, lad. I ended up standing on nails. At that point, I'd been through so much, I figured nothing could be more unpleasant than the combo itself. In a weird way, it made me fearless. Finally, to close out, we tossed our bile buckets into the woods. Is it weird or, I don't know, ironic to sort of 
take this indigenous folk medicine and then you transplant it here. We work really closely with the Matsis tribe. They say combo is for everybody, everywhere. People need combo. It's great that the tribes want to ship us medicine and sell it to us so they can continue living in the jungle and protecting it and doing their work. Yo, yo comparto con los amigos estadounidenses porque ellos han venido a sanar que tienen enfermedad ellos porque en otro mundo no hay esa medicina. No puede usar esa medicina sin autorización al pueblo indígena, ¿no? Y tiene que usar, tiene que saber uh, el proceso de medicina, ¿no? Porque mis amigos ya saben ese proceso, cómo usar, ¿no? De Estados Unidos, hacen bien. Today, more and more people are becoming practitioners, following a two-week training course, allowing combo to spread around the world. In the U.S., there are just under a thousand practitioners. I would say, do your research of who's the practitioner giving you the medicine. Um, a lot of people out there are not necessarily um, getting these medicines in a very ethical way. There is a war in my country, and I have the intention, once it's over, to come back there and to help uh, the veterans, because uh, there is lots of trauma. What's your prediction for Combo within the next five years? Over the next 10 or so years, I think it's going to be much more commonplace. My dream is that one day combo will be seen like acupuncture. Talk to a couple people at tech companies that are, that thought, we thought maybe you can go into the office and do a combo day for the staff, like they do massage day. I know, it sounds crazy. <laughs> that is like the most like Bay Area. But the Bay Area is totally amazing because of this. It was time to take my post-combo running test to see if I did any better. <sighs> okay. Oh, 27. So I beat my time by two seconds uh, <laughs> compared to pre-combo. I guess I'm ready to run professionally now. Uh, just kidding, I'll always hate running. I'm sort of surprised by that experience because I walked into it thinking that it was going to be a lot of tech bros and just people with a lot of money to sort of spend on this type of experience. And it felt a lot more authentic um, than what I thought. I felt like people were there for very genuine reasons. When I think about whether I would do it again, I feel like I'm still not sure. But if I was around people like that who were sort of very genuine, and very welcoming, maybe. They're just really into pushing their bodies and their minds to these extreme points. Um, and yeah, I can see why that, that bonds people, because I'm sure a lot of people look at them and think that they're absolutely nuts. I mean, I kind of thought that. Steve said that I would be more attracted to healthy food after combo. Um, but to be honest, this tastes pretty good, and I still would have a beer right now. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.